we are at Coco Press. You all know Coco Press. We've covered Coco Press before. We'll card to the recent video that we showed all about that the Coco Press is now live and you can get a Coco Press at home so you can recreate I Love Lucy, among many other things. Join here with Ellie. We have actual, real, serialized Coco Presses on display showing off some awesome. Ellie, tell the folks at home what's going on. We have real, actual, serialized Coco Presses. Um, I don't know what to say. You don't have to know what to say because it is I'm so sorry, Grant. No, you have had you you've had an awesome release. How many pre-orders did you have? Oh, I'm not gonna say that one. I'm not gonna say, I know it's quite a few. <laughs> he knows. I I know there's um, quite a few. Yeah, we had a lot of pre-orders, and then about two weeks ago, I don't have any sense of time. We released the printers to actually order. Mm -hmm. um, we finalized everything. Have the first few pallets on our way to us That's from awesome. LDO, and awesome. those are sold out already. So we have the next set that are set to ship after the uh, Chinese holiday. That's and awesome. it's happening. It's happening for real. We'll be shipping printers in October for the first time. And it's pretty cool. And you have something really cool here that I want to show off. Oh, let me, yes. Let me, let, me, let me grab one of these and show off what's going on. Ellie worked with E3D to create these awesome Revo pride pins where you guys can actually scan this QR code and donate directly. But if you get to see Coco Press in person, a suggested $5 donation gets you one of these awesome enamel pins, which goes support really awesome cause. So I like this kind of stuff. Yeah. This is what makers are all about, is supporting each other in what we do and how we do it. And, you know, making really cool chocolate stuff at the same yeah. time. And an additional plug, if the fundraiser is over, this organization is called Point of Pride in the U.S. They're incredible helping trans people access the care they need. And so you can just go donate directly to them if you want. Links in that description down below. And you actually went through a process that I'm going to be going through in the next couple of days. You made some custom colors. Oh, I did. You did. Coco Press colors are through printed solid, which is so cool. Yep, yep. I am really excited because uh, that's like... Part of me wants to get the real colors and make the Coco Press the right colors. And there's part of me that's like, no, I want to go crazy, neon, whatever. So I, I don't know. I might, I might have to make you two of them. You should go crazy. Nope, yep, that's what you're going to do. I was going to say crazy neon, but two of them, I think, is the right way to go. The business owner says I need to buy another one. <laughs> yes, yes. But we will be building our Coco Press live on the channel. So that's something oh, you guys want to cool. see. Make sure you stay tuned. Yeah, that's... That is coming soon, eventually, TM at some point, probably. I said it, so it has to happen now. Damn it. We just passed 200 pages on the assembly manual. See, here's the so, cool thing. I have your yeah. cell phone number. I'm sorry I'm out of the office that week. <laughs> now, you won't run into a single issue. It's a perfect build. What? 3D printers don't mess up. No, there's no, never any issues. You never get printers that have problems. But I'm really excited because this is making 101. I called you out and said that we have to have a podcast episode, so we have to get that scheduled because I want to talk oh, yeah. to you all about what it was like going from literal art to literal part and launching your first product. And I want to know about the stress, the trials, the tribulations, and the things that you don't really get to talk about much as a business owner there is that make this so stuff happen. Much. There yeah. is so much. There's so much. It's... Um... There's a lot of funny behind the scenes stories over the last, uh, you know, nine years, like. Blood, sweat, tears, and a lot of stuff we can't say on camera. An explosion once. Oh, that's research and development for you. If you're not burning up boards, are you really trying hard enough? Ellie, I am so excited to see this Cocoa Press in action. I'm glad to see multiples here with real right? cereals. These are people's printers, right? Nah, these are mine. They're these, all yours. These are all mine. But we are going to be doing fun multicolor serial number plates yes, for everyone who that. orders the machine. And I'm shipping so every machine with milk, dark, and white chocolate now. You mean not real chocolate? Milk, dark, and white chocolate. Right. If you want to get down to the nitty gritty details of what is real and what is not real chocolate, that's we fair. can have another argument. But that sounds like it would you be are great. way smarter than me on that. I can't. I, I can't hold my own. Sounds like the podcast. I am let's, done. Let's schedule an argument on the podcast. For what is chocolate? Grant versus Elliot, rage to the death. Live on YouTube. Wait, your podcasts are live? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Because <laughs> I don't want to edit them down. We do them live because it's fun that way. And that means, hey, 
Sometimes my internet sucks and things go wrong. Getting on my internet's out that day, actually? And views with you are always unhinged, and I appreciate it. Yeah, we're Speaking fun. of hinges, have you seen the hinge on the Coco Press? Not only have I seen the hinge, I printed the hinge for the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap You did, you did. That hinge... Is it still... Is that it? Is that still the hinge? Don't remember... No, the hinge is on the Alpha, but it still is. We printed a lot of the texture samples on your hinge. I thought you cared about me. I thought... Thought we had something special. What did we have? A hinge? Grant, you're unhinged. I know. I, I'm hoping that like, the more times I say hinge, the funnier it gets, and it's just not working. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. It's funny to them. It's not. It's okay. We need your cat in the background. We here. do. Yeah, we'll put we'll put her in the background. Hey, she's here in spirit. Okay, uh -huh. she's here in spirit. Anyway, go buy oh. a Cocoa Press 3D chocolate printer now today at CocoaPress.com. Guys, if you want to get yourself a Cocoa Press, we got links in that description down below. Make sure to leave a like, get subscribed if you haven't. Check out Coco Press. Literally, it's one of the best chocolate printers on the planet out there right now, and probably one of the sweetest 3D printers that you'll ever have access to. And for 1500 bucks, you got Valentine's Day covered, I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. And you can eat your mistakes if you ever mess up. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for eating those fails. So yep. if I eat them, then they don't exist. They would exist on the Friday fails thing. That's true. If we still did those. Yep, we, we, we are. Oh, that's yeah. so, so embarrassing. So going on. I said, haha, I mean, yeah, why not? I'll try it. It'll be a funny video fail. You know, I needed a Friday fail video because you stopped the series. So, oh, never mind. I needed a Friday fail video because I stopped watching Grant's videos on it. It's 100 and like eight episodes now, yeah. yeah it's, 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 I watch every single one. Every single one of them. Guys, we will see you at the next one. Check out Coco Press in those links down below. Ellie on the podcast coming soon, TM. Let us know what you want to know about Coco Press and what it takes to actually, you know, build a successful printer that you sell out in the general public. Let us know in those comments below. We will see you at the next booth. See you later. We are here at the Black Cat Prismatics booth, and it's not just because it's a black cat. I got my buddy Domingo here. Domingo is not just a fan. Domingo is also a Patreon member. Links, of course, that in the description down below. And yes, there is a whole part of the reason that we're here, just do the call to action. But Domingo's got some cool stuff, and he's dressed up a lot nicer than I am. You know, dude's That's looking debatable. Cool. Debatable? <laughs> yeah, debatable. I don't know, man. Although, in Florida, I'd be dead by now because I'd be dripping in sweat. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Tell the folks at home what you got going on here. You're you're printing and selling stuff, right? Yes, I am. Uh, so I uh, 3D print uh, stuff for, like, nerdcore uh, interests. So anything from a video game to, um, you know, just sort of, like, interesting science-y stuff if I can. Everything I print uh, for weapons is all... Uh, fully supported so I could give everything like a really nice weight and everything like that and then of course I cannot get away with <laughs> You gotta be careful don't point that at people it can be it's a little pokey <gasps> No I also am a big fan of printing like the biggest things I can possibly print uh, And you know anything else that I find challenging I really you know I spent a lot of time trying to make sure I had this for the show just that's I a nice to piece challenge myself here. Is there any particular filament that you're using any particular brands? Uh, so I use mostly Jesse uh -huh. uh, mo uh, for all of my weapons. That's all pet. Where can you find Jesse? Uh, you can find Jesse filament at printedsolid.com. Okay. All right. Yep. We like Jesse. Jesse filaments made in America. Gotta love it. And it's like way cheap, like 20 to 22 bucks a kilo for, for PLA. And it's not it's, only cheap, it's extremely reliable. I'm a big fan. I don't even like to call it cheap. It's affordable. It, it is pretty much the filament that we're using here at the shop at 3D Musketeer. So it's always nice. I'm like, I know a lot of these colors. <laughs> I know a lot of these colors. But yeah, man, you got some really nice stuff going on. You got a Prusa Mini in the background with the input shaper firmware, yep. which mm -hmm. is always cool to see. Yep, that's absolutely true. Yeah. I was very excited about that, and uh, I really wanted to show off that it was a, a it was a thing. So awesome! Yep. Well, hey, where can people find you? Uh, so the best place right now is to find me is on Instagram. 
Uh, you can also email me at blackcatprismatics at gmail.com if you have any questions or need anything. I do have a website that, that I share with my wife. She does her own sort of macabre cat art uh, at phantasmeow.com. I have a little section on there. It is it is still a uh, uh, part in our dust sort of situation there, so I don't we recommend feel that. that. It's yet. always a work in progress <laughs> yeah. around here too. All right, I get it. Absolutely, but yeah, no, I really appreciate you stopping by, Grant. It's a pleasure finally meeting you. Do you ever go to like local shows in the area? Because I know you're 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 somewhat local to the Bel Air area. Oh yeah, yeah. I so I do a lot of like uh, uh, shows out of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, some Maryland, and stuff like that. Nice. I do oddity shows with my wife a lot. So I have my own sort of like little niche on where I go. That's one of the main reasons I was really thrilled about doing um, Pipe Cox's model for the uh, uh, Skull Android. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you haven't seen that one yet? No, no. Oh, it's I... so cool. Okay, yeah, that's that's a nice model there. I like that. <laughs> it's a nice model. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey, Domingo, thanks for showing up. Thanks for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And, and no, that's not a way to bribe me. He actually had some cool stuff. And He's dressed up both days because uh, honestly, if you dress up both days, it's pretty much a guarantee I'm going to come and find you because, well, you look kind of cool. You got to <laughs> love it. Anyways, guys, continuing coverage of the East Coast Rep Rap Festival Day 2 coming at you. Links are in that description down below. What's your favorite thing that you saw here at Black Cat Prismatics? Let us know. Yeah, I'd love to hear. Yeah. Stay tuned. We are over at the 3D Gloop booth, although it's just Gloop now, isn't it? It is still 3D Gloop. We just have a Gloop on that logo, but you know we're kind of kind of trying to go with what everybody calls it. We named the company 3D Gloop, and everyone calls it Gloop, so we're leaning into that. I can feel you guys saw me earlier battle Jeff. Uh, actually, Future Grand here. That video comes out next week, not this week. Subscribe to see it. Back to past Grant. And while he is Florida man certified, <laughs> you got to know more about the super sticky stuff that is 3D glue. But it's a chemical adhesive for your 3D prints that make them so they're quite literally stronger than the prints themselves. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Let's see what you got here. What's this? So right here, I've just got a couple of our pull handles that we use. This is a uh, really good for smaller tug of wars and what you get with Jeff. Thankfully, you're a lot lighter than me, so I don't have to try as hard. <laughs> but it still works really strong. And like you said, so 3D Gloop, what it is, it's ludicrously strong glue for 3D prints. Yep. And how it works is it does actually chemically weld or fuse the two prints together. That's amazing. So unlike a cyanacrylate or a two-part epoxy that kind of sticks in between the surfaces mm -hmm. and tries to like cling to them, our product actually does what's called cross-linking and fuses those two different pieces together. Chemical. It's cool. Means your stuff don't break. 3D Gloop is awesome. We have used them on so many projects for years. And in fact, we recently worked on a project for the video game Justice Sucks, where we made Dusty, and Dusty was held together with a ton of 3D Gloop. And that thing has been to multiple conventions now and uh, been cleaning up crime scenes ever since. It's a <laughs> robotic vacuum that cleans up crime scenes. It's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We made that all with 3D Gloop, and it has survived multiple shipments all across the country. It's really cool to see it happen because yeah, chemical adhesive. It'll outlast the prints itself. Absolutely. Where can people find more about 3D Gloop? Uh, easiest place is 3dgloop.com. We've got all of our products available on the website. Some cool FAQs, how-tos, just general information. Absolutely. Um, also, the internet being what it is, just punch in 3D Gloop and see what comes up. Awesome. Well, Andrew, thank you. We saw other Andrew earlier. He's right there. Yeah, he's right there. Look at him. Wild Andrew. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love 3D Gloop. You got to check him out. Links are in that description down below. Let's move on to the next one. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Ha, you thought there was another one coming because Pass Grant was wrong once again. You've been foiled. Thanks to all of our channel member supporters who have made these videos possible. Their names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Thank you for making these kind of trips possible. And hey, if you do want to support us, links are in that description down below as well for as little as $1 a month to help make these videos and trips like this possible. Remember, Florida Man vs. Giant Robot next week. We'll see you there. And make sure that you don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Crazy that yep. people saw this thing. Yep. And no one recognizes me, so it's so funny. I mean, isn't that kind of the idea?
Yeah, kind of, but it's still okay. like, it's still like a weird thing sometimes when it's like, I mean, I don't remember talking to him, but there are other people I'm like, like Brooke Drum, I'm like, I, we talked for hours. I re like, Shh. you look a little different now. Uh, I don't even have that hair anymore. Sure. Yeah, my hair's longer than yours. Nice. Do you want to flip your hair? That's okay. not even recording that, are you? It is? Yes. Nice. Please be in the bloopers.